Exclusive interview with the Santa Fe District Attorney, who's leading the investigation to the film set shooting involving Alec Baldwin. She spoke with Kaylee Hartung, who is live in Albuquerque. Good morning, Kaylee. Hey, good morning, George. We're three weeks into a case that's brought international attention to New Mexico, but the DA is not rushing the process. She says until the Sheriff's Department hands over all the evidence to her, her hands are tied. So she warns it could be months more before she's able to determine who, if anyone, is criminally liable. So prosecutors have to deal in facts and in evidence. The Santa Fe District Attorney deciding whether to press charges after that fatal movie shooting in an exclusive interview with ABC News, now refuting claims by the attorneys hired to defend crew members at the center of this investigation. How did live ammunition end up on this set? We don't have an answer to that yet. I know that um, some defense attorneys have come up with conspiracy theories and have used the, the words the word sabotage. We do not have any proof. Do you believe sabotage is a possibility? No. Just last week on GMA, an attorney for the film's armorer trying to turn attention away from the 24 year old in charge of all weapons on set. We're are afraid that could have been what happened here, that somebody intended to sabotage this set with a live round intentionally placed in a box of dummies. If it were to be found that this was a case of sabotage, would you be looking at a murder charge? Uh, certainly a higher level of murder charge than we would potentially be looking at with the facts that we have now, yes. The defense attorneys, we don't have the same information that they do, but until we have it in our hands, it doesn't play into the decision-making process. Mary Carmack Altweez is prepared to wait months for the investigation into cinematographer Helena Hutchins' death to be completed. But evidence so far suggests to her this tragedy was avoidable. I think the most concerning thing is that there were so many levels of failures on that set. Is it your understanding that more live rounds than that one were found on the set? Yes. Do you have an understanding of how many? I do, but I can't release that information at this time. Are you concerned as a legal matter about the other live rounds found on the set? Absolutely. We, we still don't know how they got on the set um, and how they got there, I think will be one of the most important factors going into a charging decision. It's probably more important to focus on what led up to the shooting um, because the moment of the shooting, we know that at least Mr. Baldwin had no idea that the gun was loaded. So it's more how did that gun get loaded, what levels of failure happened, and were those levels of failure criminal? How much have you learned about Hannah Gutierrez Reed's qualifications to be in the job she was in? That's one of the areas of inquiry that we are certainly pursuing and that the detective that is in, in charge of this investigation is going to be asking her during her, her second interview. The chain of custody of the gun that fired the fatal shot has been called into question. Do you know who loaded the gun? We do, yes. The DA declining to say who loaded it. According to a search warrant affidavit, the assistant director Dave Halls handed the gun to Alec Baldwin, but his attorney on Fox News saying he did not. In the affidavits, it states that my client grabbed the gun off of a prop cart and handed it to Baldwin. That absolutely did not happen. And is it your belief that Dave Halls handed the gun to Alec Baldwin? Yes, that does seem to be the case. Authorities say nearly 100 people were on the New Mexico set when the shooting occurred. More than half have already been interviewed. Everyone initially was very cooperative, but adding in attorneys adds in an extra level of complication. We don't have laws that have been written for this kind of incident. There is no precedent for a case like this. Certainly not in New Mexico. Are you prepared to press criminal charges here? If the circumstances warrant it, absolutely. We will do our best to get justice for Helena Hutchins and Joel Sousa. The calls for change in Helena's name have been reverberating through Hollywood. And Alec Baldwin earlier this week saying he wants every set using guns, fake or otherwise, to have a police officer present to monitor weapon safety. And the DA here telling us she wants to be a part of that change that could come to film and television sets here in New Mexico. Guys. A lot of news there. Thank you, Kaylee.
Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.